every year I come and every year they film me for something. So As Jen's taking photos, they're like, can we? I'm like, absolutely. What's right with you? Um, I think I've gotten to know myself a lot better and I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable with who I am. Um, and I think I've got some good friends as well. So I think that's really what's right with me at the moment. Would you date yourself? Probably not. That seems very too egotistical. If, if someone made a gay clone or, or, or somebody that was exactly me, it might get boring. There, there's got to be something different and something, you know, and I think I'm, I'm somebody dateable, but at the same time, I wouldn't want to date my mirror reflection. What makes you proud? What makes me proud? Um, being true to myself. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Sure. Um, that uh, what makes me proud to be able to walk down the street holding the hand of my girlfriend it makes me proud to uh, be out at my my job at my workplace and, and be acknowledged for that. And ask my coworkers will ask me, "How's your girlfriend? What's going on?" I mean, I'm you know they, they know what my life's about, and, and that makes me feel really proud. What's right with you? What's right with me? Well, I think I think what's right with me, and I, I have to give thanks for all of my friends and my parents and people that have supported me and you know really coming to the place in my life where I'm at. Um, and I feel like I'm in a good place now. I'm 40 years old, and I've seen a lot of things that have happened, you know, on Capitol Hill and Seattle and downtown. All this, you know, even where the gay parade is this year and where it was in, in years past. And I think what's really great with me is that I have some experience, and I'm able to communicate with people, and I'm able to listen and. And, um, and I just, I really love making a difference. And I love that you guys are doing this because this is the kind of thing that people need. They need to be able to have a forum to learn from and communicate to. And so I think what's right with me is that, you know, I'm open to elevating the consciousness of humans, you know, particularly the community I belong to. So what's your name? John Bailey. And are you from Seattle? Yes, I am. How long have you lived here? I've lived here all my life. From this that I drive. <laughs> uh, what do you know about the City Health Project? I know that it is um, an organization that's committed to uh, men's wellness, men's health. What does wellness mean to you? I think wellness is uh, encompassing of um, healthy sexual behaviors, men and women in recovery. If you had, okay, so if you just met someone today who was struggling with coming out of the closet, right. what would some advice be that you would give them? Well, it's funny, I have met a couple people in the last couple months, um, but uh, being an ex-Jehovah's Witness, I've had a lot of people come to me and say, you know, oh my God, I'm gay, I don't know what to do, I really can't, I can't see myself coming out. And what I have to say to them most of the time is, you know, it may be difficult to come out, it may be it may be seemingly hard, but really you have to know the difference between convenient and easy and inconvenient and hard. Living easy is being able to get up and, and feel like if nobody else accepts you, you can accept yourself. Being inconvenienced is having to come out to the people you love and maybe they won't like what you're doing. So what I encourage them to do is really get in touch with who they are. Go get some therapy, um, you know, talk to more friends that they're not afraid to talk to about it, maybe make some friends, but definitely get to that place where they feel solid so when they do come out, it's not just this, you know, raft drifting afloat a really turbulent sea, that they actually are supporting themselves in what they're doing.